Welcome to an episode of Beyond Cheers of Detective Gomez Files. I'm your host, Detective Gomez, and today we're talking about a widow had opened herself up for new love, and instead she was catfished for a million dollars. Ladies, I, I, I can't um, keep talking about this, but we're going to talk about this again, okay? Because women... It happens to more women than it does men. Uh, there's one thing where I say that women, you know, women are just good about everything. They're good at getting catfished also. Uh, Sister Lisa Lincolns, who sang back up for such music icons as Stevie Nicks, Linda Ronstadt, was lonely and depressed after her husband Greg died in 2020. When a handsome, blonde-haired man who resembled her late husband of 23 years started messaging her on Facebook. Lin uh, Lincolns uh, re re booked him and uh, for, for months, but eventually she gave in. Lincoln was lured into a relationship with Donald, who worked in a mining gold in Australia. So she basically rejected him, and finally she gave in. I fell in love with this person, deeply in love. I was almost two and a half years of this going on, or so she thought. Instead, Lincoln gave more than a million dollars to the romance scammer, someone who convinced convinced that the singer was in love with her and that he would join her in Las Vegas. Now that I know he's a criminal, I know he's a major criminal who preys on lonely and widowed women, she said. Now, it says here, in 2023, consumers lost $1.14 billion to romance scams like, like she did. Out of money with love, according to a new information released Friday by the Federal Trade Commission. There have been a total of 64,003 cases reported in 2023. Both numbers are down from 2022 and 2021, but they're still very high compared to other types of scams, reflecting that it continues to be a significant issue, the FTC said. Now, ladies, I I, I don't, I, you know, we're all looking for love. Trust me, we're all looking for love. Everybody wants to be in love. I get that. But you got to check these people out when you meet them online. I just had a case the other day where this woman met, met a guy and found out that he was married in another state. She did the right thing. She did the background check. Uh, it was a year later, but she still did the background check. Everybody was married and got rid of him. Okay? She didn't invest a whole lot of money. The only thing she lost was time. But you got to do your due diligence. I know we're all looking for love, ladies. We're all looking for love. I'm looking for love. But you got to be smart about this. You got to think about this. I'm, I'm I'm really, I'm really upset because she lost a million dollars over some guy that kind of looked like her, like looked like her, 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 her husband that, that you know sadly passed away, but in 2020. But you got to think, be smart with your money. Don't just give your money away, okay? To somebody you you, you can't touch or see. And, and all she did was message him on Facebook. Now, she, they didn't get into the whole whether they, he called her and those type of things or not. But you've got to be smart about this. These scammers are looking to take your money. And most of them don't even live where they in Australia. This guy says, live on here. we don't even know where he lived at. But she's not getting her money back. Her money's gone. Her money's gone. Gone. I had another case the other day where some guy was throwing over some girl and find out, you know, She's a prostitute. That money's gone. You gave it to her. The money's gone. So it happens both ways, but it happens more to women. You keep hearing more women uh, that either are widowed or, you know, broke up, went through a divorce, uh, something like this later on. And they have money and these scammers are out there looking for them. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know if they're using AI to help them or not uh, with certain words, but whatever they're doing is working. But you cannot be giving your money away, ladies. You can't do that. Us private investigators, private detectives are here to help you. I, Detective Gomez, will help you verify whether somebody is a real person or not. Okay? Do not put yourself in that situation where you're losing your own money for, for, for your whole life. Some people have lost their whole life savings to somebody. Don't put yourself in that situation. Think about what you're doing before you send that money. Find out where you're sending it to Make sure the person is real because there's people, there's scammers out there professional. They're, they're taking money. And you, and you see that there's lots of cases that are happening like this every year. And there'll be somebody else doing the same thing. 
somebody else doing the same thing. Like I said, we're all looking for love. I understand that. But try to find somebody that you, know, you can touch, you can feel, you can hold, you can kiss. This is what you want. Now somebody in Australia says they're going to come see you and they never, they never show up. And by the time you realize you're in a scam, it's too late. You're out of money. Do your due diligence. Do your research on somebody. Do a background check. Ask questions. Do these things before you start losing your money. Because you can't get that money back. You don't, you don't hear a whole lot of stories about the FBI going arresting some guy in Australia for taking your money. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Ladies, it's not going to happen. So ladies, uh, I, you see more ladies get catfished than men. There are some guys that get catfished also, but uh, it happens more to ladies than men because women want to be loved. There's nothing wrong with that. But please, ladies, be careful with your money. All right? Please do your due diligence, do a background check, and I can help you any way I, I, you can to try to get you the answer you need. Okay? So please be careful out there. Do your due diligence. Do some homework on these people. Ask the right questions. If you get any, any help, detective going with me, I am here to help you. Okay? Remember that. All right. So thank you for being part of our show today of Beyond Cheers, the Detective Gomez Files. And of course, we want to thank our sponsor, Mr. Juan Hernandez with Juan Hernandez Law. Uh, contact him at juanlaw.com or contact him at 214-900-0000. Uh, he specializes in car accidents. He can help you. He's helping me. I know he can help you also. So contact him today. All right. And also we want to thank, of course, Detective Gomez. That is me. I can help you with all your investigation needs. Do not be afraid to contact me. I will do what I can to help you out. Do some, do some coaching, infidelity coaching to help you out with what you're going through. Uh, I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Okay. Remember, when you contact me, we work as a team. Remember that, a team. All right. Remember, don't cheat. And I'll see you next time on Beyond Cheers to the Detective Gold Response. Take care and be safe.